Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nurul Sna Shazwani Binti Anapi and my main sheet number is A18 E0760. I want to present my oral part assignment which is Business Nature of Hudson. Hudson Industry Burhai is a Malaysian based investment holding company. It was founded on October 4 in the year 1991. It operates by three segment activity such as the biscuit manufacturing segment, the beverage manufacturing segment, and the trading division segment. The biscuit manufacturing segment is engaged in the business of manufacture and sale of biscuits. The beverage manufacturing segment is engaged in the business of manufacture and wholesale of coffee, mist, and all kinds of foodstuff. And the trading division segment is engaged in the business of sale and distribution of biscuits, confectionery, and other foodstuff. The company offers many types of biscuits, such as special cream crackers, Mary biscuit, and so on. It has 99 agents in 40 countries and has 1,403 workers. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nura Akila Binti Muhammad Yusuf. Metric number A180686. So for business nature of Watai Industry Berhad, Watai Industry Berhad is one of the premier and the longest established biscuit manufacturers in Malaysia. Watai established in 1962. It is since 58 years ago. Watai fast expanding company has grown to be one of the largest players in the biscuits industry in the country and produce a fine wide range of superior quality biscuits. Huata Industry Berhad is a Malaysia-based company engaged in biscuit manufacturing and investment holding. The product portfolio of the company includes uh, cookies, biscuits, crackers, cakes, cream, sandwich and snacks. Mm, it has been successfully marketed uh, domestically and internationally through Huatai's own vast and comprehensive distribution network. Huatai aims to be a leading confectionery manufacturer in the region known for the quali product quality and variety. Huatai is a committed to producing the best quality biscuits products for all the customers all over the world and creating business opportunities for their partners. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Uh, I'm Nurul Adli, Medi Muhammad Shari. Metric number is A18-A0687. Uh, I will present the uh, hub sink for the horizontal analysis. The first one is liquidity, liquidity ratio and the the uh, below that is the first one is car ratio, which the highest ratio is shown in 2016, uh, which is 14.13 times. It shows the short uh, ability to pay short term obligation in times. And the second one is quick ratio. Uh, for Hapsing, they don't have any trade that that means it they don't do not uh, depends on inventory to pay the short term obligation in time. And the third one is networking capital. The highest one is in 2017, which is 22 uh, million 5,000 uh, 18,541 uh, uh, ringgit Malaysia. Now, uh, it show the pay in time, ability to pay in time. The second one is profitability ratio. And the first one is return on equity. The highest ratio is shown in 2017, which is 0 0.81%. Uh, it uh, showed that they have a higher return to shareholder. The next one is return on asset. Uh, the highest one is shown in 2017, which is 0.67%. Uh, it showed that they have a higher return on a firm investment. The third one is gross profit margin. The highest one is shown in 2017, which is 0.95%. Uh, it shows the higher contribution on margin. The fourth one is net profit margin. The highest one is shown in 2017, which is 0.95%. 
and ensure the, that they have a better income to the shareholders. The fourth, uh, sorry, the fifth one is operating margin, operating profit margin. Uh, they have the highest ratio in 2017, which is 0.12 percent. They show that they have a better productivity. The third ratio is activity ratio. The first one is asset turnover, and the highest one is shown in 2017, which is 0.7 times. They show that short. They have a better effectiveness of total asset to generate the sale. The second one is account receivable turnover. The highest one is in 2016, which is 234.3x time. We show that they have a better effectiveness in collecting the receivable. And the third one is average collection period. Uh, the highest one is shown in 2018. Uh, and, and the amount is 1.58 days, which is uh, represent two days. Uh, it shows that they have a uh, more difficulty to collect the debt. The fourth one is inventory turnover. And uh, for the same as before, they don't have inventory, so that they do not depend or inventory to generate the sales. The last one is fixed asset uh, turnover. Uh, we show it have a high high ratio in 2017, which is 1.15 times, and it show the better eff effectiveness of fixed asset to generate the sales. The last one is leverage ratio. Uh, the first one is tap ratio, and it show the highest uh, ratio in. 2017 and 2018, which is 0.17%, it showed that they have a higher amount of debt to finance the asset. And the last one is debt to equity. It showed the highest uh, ratio in 2017 and 2018, which is 0.21%, and it showed that they have a high amount of debt. Hi, my name is Noshara Binti Asit Lakman and my metric number is A188684. Today, I'm going to tell you about the liquidity ratios, profitability ratios, and activity ratios, and leverage ratio for the Huatai company. For the liquidity liquidity ratios, uh, Huatai shows the highest ratio in 2017 in current ratio, which is 1.37 times to pay its short-term obligation in time. For the quick ratio, Watai shows the highest ratio in 2017 which is 1.16 times to pay its short term obligation in time. For the networking capital, Watai shows the highest positive value in 2017 which is 11,294,743 Malaysia to show ability to pay to pay in time. For the profitability ratios, uh, return on equity, Whitey shows the highest ratio in 2018 which is 0.14% that has higher return to shareholder. For the return on asset, Whitey shows higher ratio in 2018 which is 0.07% that has higher return on firm investment. And for the gross profit margin, Quarta shows high ratio in 2016 which is 0.34% that has higher contribution margin and for the net profit margin Quarta has the highest ratio in 2018 that uh, which is 0.07% that has better income to shareholder for the profit operating uh, profit margin in 2018, Huatai has higher ratio which is 0.34% which that has a better productivity. For the activity ratio, on asset turnover, Huatai has the higher ratio on 2018 which is 0.98 times better of total asset to generate sale. For the account receiver, Quarter has higher ratio on 2018 which is 3.11 times 
better effectiveness of collecting receiver for the average collection period. What on 2016, water has higher ratio of 123.81 days, which show difficulty to collect debt. And for the inventory turnover, in 2017, Huatai has highest ratio of inventories, which is 9.27 times to generate sale. Uh, for the fixed asset turnover, Huatai has the higher ratio on 2018, which is 2.81 times that has better effectiveness to of fixed assets to generate sale. And for the leverage ratio, uh, Huatai has highest ratio in both 2017 and 18 of debt ratio which is 0.47% that has higher amount of debt to finance asset and lastly for the debt to equity Huatai has the highest ratio in 2018 uh, which is 0.92% that show has a uh, amount high amount of debt Okay, for the next one is uh, vertical analysis and the first one is liquidity ratio. For current ratio, uh, Hapsing show the higher ratio which is 2.68 time to pay short term obligation in time. For quick ratio, uh, Hapsing do not have entry so do not have any calculation. And Huatai, the ratio is 1.12 times which is it depend on the inventory to pay each short term obligation in time. For networking capital, uh, Hapsing show the high positive value which is uh, 61,148,794 uh, ringgit Malaysia uh, to show its ability to pay in time. And the next one is profitability ratio. The first one is return on equity, on equity which is uh, Hapsing uh, show the high ratio which is 0 0.56% uh, to show its uh, ability to return to the shareholder. The next one is return on asset which is uh, Hapsing show the high ratio which is 0.49% which is its higher return on the firm investment. The next one is cross profit margin, uh, which uh, show that Hapsing has a high ratio, which is zero point ninety percent. It show the higher contribution margin. The next one is net margin, net profit margin, and it show uh, Hapsing has a high ratio which is 0.66% to show it has a better income to the shareholder. The last one is operating profit margin and Huatai show the high ratio which is 0.31% and it show that they have a better productivity. For the activity ratio, uh, Huatai shows high ratio of asset turnover which is 0.93 times better effectiveness of total asset to generate sale for the account receivable turnover Hapsang has a higher ratio of 234.87 times better effectiveness to collecting receivable for the average collection period water shows a higher ratio of 120.19 days which is which is show that it has more difficulty in collecting debt for the inventory turnover, Huatai shows high ratio of 8.88 times to generate sale. For the fixed asset turnover, Huatai shows high ratio of 2.60 times that has a better effectiveness to of fixed assets to generate sale. For the leverage ratio, Huatai shows high ratio of debt ratio which is 0.46%. Uh, which is that has higher amount of debt to finance asset. Lastly, debt to equity. Huatai shows higher ratio, which is 0.91% uh, that has high amount of debt. That's all. Thank you.
My name is Jeevita Ramakrishnan and my metric number is A18801191. Now I would like to explain about my part. My part is recommendation and conclusion. Based on my group, now I would like to give recommendation for Hub Seng and Hua Tai. Providing quality product for customer by maintaining the quality of product provided. In the past, there are some shortcomings, so today Hapseng should improve the quality of product. For example, Hapseng should provide high quality products and keeping price close to competitors, as if putting high prices, customer will run into competitors. Moreover, Hapseng should consider identify which strategies are effective favorite and remembered by customer second recommendation is about how thai how thai should develop new product that only captures sub domestic market but also future market develop new product to supplier and increase in the range of products offer for example, Hua Tai can provide products such as cream biscuit to attract the customer. The third recommendation for Hua Tai is displaying unique skills from employee. This happened to all companies that operate who sells product. They did not display employee skills. Therefore, we suggest Hua Tai have to train their employees unique skills. It is because when employees display their attitude and skills, it can increase the number of shoppers. For example, responding to need that differ accounting the event. In addition, making the staff look happy and uniform are good idea. This is because it can attract the customer to buy the product. That's all from me. Thank you, sir.